Hi, I'm Kendrick Barnes, and on behalf of the RP5, I would like to uh, submit a very heartfelt thank you to the residents of V Living, uh, also to Judge Sarakin for allowing us to uh, come out and have our story heard. We would like to thank the uh, faculty and all those that made us feel very warm and welcoming, and for all those that uh, took the time to come and listen to our story. I'm David Zappolo, and again, I want to say thank you also for all the questions and the participation that we had. It made us feel wonderful to know that you cared about our story and what was going on in our lives. I'm David Banks, uh, and I can't thank you enough. I can't thank uh, Judge Sarakin enough for taking an interest in our story uh, and our injustice. I think it's so important that people are reminded that at any age, a person, people could actually make a difference. Uh, Judge Sarakin was in the twilight of his life and decided to reach out and still try to do something about our injustice. We, we are sincerely grateful for the people at VI, or I'm sorry, V is the correct pronunciation, for attending and hearing us. I don't think people truly understand just how important it is when you've been wrongly convicted and suffered a great injustice or just a victim of some type of injustice for some people to just listen and hear your story. We thank God for your heartfelt uh, sentiments uh, towards us, and uh, we will be eternally grateful to Judge Sarakin and the people and faculty at, at Be Living. My name is Clint Stewart, and uh, I echo all the feelings um, that we're trying to express to everyone at, at V Living that came out to hear the recital of the, of the play that Judge Sarakin wrote. We certainly do appreciate it. And you made us feel very warm, very welcoming. Uh, it was great. It was a great event, and we enjoyed it. We hope everyone there enjoyed it. And uh, thank you for all the questions. Thank you for the attentive, attentiveness that you had and the interest that you had in our story. And thank you, Judge Sarakin, so much for uh, approaching President Obama, writing him uh, on our behalf. Uh, we certainly uh, very much a heartfelt thank you for all of that. Hi, I'm Demetrius Harper, and again, we can't thank you enough for welcoming us uh, and to tell our story, to tell our, our legacy on what happened to us. Judge Sarakin, special thank you. Uh, you are our hero, yes. and we appreciate everything you've done. We, your legacy, your, your, your commitment to truth and justice does not go unnoticed, and you are truly uh, a hero in our eyes, and I appreciate you. To all the staff uh, at uh, V Living and all the folks that came to, to welcome us, we much appreciate you, and all the questions that you guys had for us, it, it made us feel very warm like we were at home, so thank you again. And uh, we were asked a question uh, about uh, people and how people can help uh, with this injustice. And the only thing we can say is that if anybody, uh, I don't care if we can write a book, if we can tell our story uh, via film, documentary, movie, whatever, uh, there's so much stuff we couldn't get into about what happened to us and some of the many, many details of uh, just overall corruption and, and, and racism and many things we saw and how it impacted us and our families. If anybody from V Living to Judge Sarakin knows anybody in the world of movie making, books, people like John Grisham, those type of authors that this story we, we really believe they would be interested in hearing and getting more details. Uh, documentaries, we have documents to back up everything that we, that happened to us and the injustice that occurred, but nobody to, to this day has been willing to listen. And we, we, we're gonna continue to fight to have this story told because if it's not told, it, this can and probably is happening to somebody else. Again, thank you for everything uh, and thank you for attending. And we are so, so grateful to Judge Sarakin and the people of V Living. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. God bless you all.